Tonight, the King 5 investigators uncover a new report showing a section of King County's biggest landfill could be releasing arsenic levels that are unsafe to breathe. As Taylor Murfandereski reports, neighbors of the Maple Valley landfill are alarmed and want regulators to do something about it. The concern is very real in our community. For more than 30 years, Leslie Morgan has lived in Renton, right by King County's biggest landfill, Cedar Hills. The gaseous smells and potential hazards from the Maple Valley facility have always been a concern for her and her neighbors. It's really stressful. But now she's more alarmed than ever. A new study by the county's own experts show airborne arsenic past the landfill property line may be higher than the limit of what's considered safe to breathe. You feel this really heavy weight. I have my family in this community. Are they safe? In May, King County submitted hundreds of pages of arsenic air testing results to PISCA, the Puget Sound Clean Air Agency, which regulates air quality in the region. The Cedar Hills testing was involuntary. In a historic move last fall, the Clean Air Agency forced the county to perform an analysis of arsenic in the air to find out whether the levels are safe for the public. The order came as health and safety complaints from landfill workers and neighbors like Morgan piled on. Tonight, the King 5 investigators revealed... We featured their concerns in a multi-part King 5 investigation. To arsenic on the job. Which exposed Cedar Hills has been dealing with an arsenic problem for more than a decade because of its process of managing landfill gas, a byproduct of decomposing trash. We found the landfill has repeatedly gotten in trouble, violating environmental rules for having hazardous levels of arsenic in these wastewater lagoons. One of my field crew, she had to stick her arm down in it, and her arm was red all the way up to here. And she said it just felt itchy and horrible. King County engineer Colleen Christensen is one of four employees who publicly accused the county of not doing enough to keep workers safe from the highly toxic chemical. Is there a public health risk currently to your employees? No. Cedar Hills leaders have repeatedly said arsenic at the landfill poses no threat. I'm as confident as I can be. That they beefed up worker protections and are conducting ongoing tests to monitor employee exposure. But the PISCA required air testing didn't focus on worker risks. It focused on safe breathing standards for the public. Thousands of people in Maple Valley. Issaquah and Renton live near the 920-acre facility. We're there 24-7. If there is exposure, we're getting it far longer than even workers would. In its report to Pisca, the county found arsenic levels around most of Cedar Hills are well below the safe breathing limits. They said their model only predicted elevated arsenic levels around these lagoons and the nearby fence line extending into the community. I think that it just validates every time we file a complaint. For Morgan, who has filed hundreds of complaints about toxic, gaseous odors inside her home and negative health impacts, she worries that arsenic exceedances in even a small section of Cedar Hills could have a big impact on her community's safety. That needs to be investigated further so that people can feel comfortable. Emails show the King County Public Health Department is looking for answers too. In May and June, public health officials reached out to the Clean Air Agency for help interpreting the results, including any potential health impacts. But so far, PISCA has declined to comment. The Clean Air Agency says it's still reviewing King County's test results to decide on next steps. I would hope that they would require more thorough investigation into the surrounding communities. They have a lot of work to do to gain our trust. In Seattle, Taylor Muir from the Rescue, King 5 News. The King County Solid Waste Division says it is already planning to do more monitoring of the areas where it predicted unsafe breathing levels, and they're starting to collect those air samples this week.